everybody, welcome back to my channel, Pixel and Frisket Finds. My name is Michelle and this is a new episode of Come to Work With Me, a series on my channel where we go through the vintage inventory here at the jewelry store where I work and it helps me to prioritize and organize and in the meantime we get to look at the goodies. If you haven't already, click subscribe, that way we can hang out again. I'm uploading a new video every Sunday so I'd love to see you there again. Down in the description box below, you're gonna find my emails and some eBay links. And if you have any questions, just send me a message. I would love to hear from you. But in the meantime, let's just get into it. Okay, let's get into this episode. Here we have a Pandora box. If you remember many episodes ago, I found this box and I opened it up to find many Pandora charms and I noped out of it at that time but today today's the day we're gonna dig into it and see see what we have i know um some of these charms can can bring in uh quite a bit of money the people who are into pandora are super duper into pandora and i only know a little bit about identifying it as authentic or not but we're gonna see what we can figure out so the first one I've got here is this little camera. It's even got like, it's a digital camera. It's got the screen on the back. S925ALE. So I would say that that little camera is authentic Pandora. What should we do here? What should we do here? Should we just stack them all up on here like this? Sure, <laughs> that'll work. Here is a ball piece with a little hinge so it's like a, one of the ones that clamps on I don't see the marks and I don't want to wreck my nails trying to open it okay that's it that's my that's the effort I'm willing to put in but this one's got a butterfly a butterfly guy here's a heart with some Chinese writing a couple of Chinese characters on there and that one's got the S925 ALE Let's see if we can find out what the characters mean. It's the same on each side. That would be an interesting piece of information to have. And there's this one. ALE 925 as well. So maybe it's Japanese because this looks more Japanese to me. Hopefully we find some stuff out about it. Here's another clampy one. This has got a moon with a face and a star with a little stone in the star. And on this side is the sun. Celestial. Here's another one with a ballerini and some stones along the top there. And I'm trying to see inside of the the hole if we have got the marks that we're looking for oof it's hard to focus there i don't see it so maybe not pandora i would have to guess not pandora if i had to guess one way or the other here is a peace sign with a pink stone design in like a daisy pattern I can't see any mark in there either. And then this one is a treble clef with little CZs, possibly diamonds. Oops, for deal. Possibly diamonds. I know some Pandora stuff has diamonds, and this one is. So let's start up our diamond tester. And in the meantime, we'll look at this one. That's a lighthouse with some red enamel on it. And I see the S925 ALE as well. Now let's test our treble clef. Oh, it's really hard to get it on these ones though. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. I think it's a diamond one. I have to look. Hmm. I've had this happen before where I 
was testing a Pandora piece for diamond and it kept going to moissanite. So, and then I never did find out, like I couldn't find any information about whether or not Pandora uses moissanite or if it's just that it's so small, I can't test without touching a prong at the same time. I'm not sure. Here's a little teapot. It's so cute. It's got a little gold at the top as well. 925ALE. That's adorable. Right there, buddy. Here's just a simple flower chain. I don't see a mark. But so far, I mean, everything seems to be Pandora. So I would be surprised to see one in here that wasn't, I guess. If surprised is the word. That one says Pandora, A-L-E and 925. And that's got this Statue of Liberty with a little heart on the bottom. That's cute. Very cute. And this one is the apple. I'm guessing Big Apple. Someone's been to New York and Japan, perhaps. And that one's got the Pandora marks. Oh, it's Disney. Who is this? The Poison Apple? Is this the Poison Apple right now? Hmm. There's a couple of stones on the leaf there as well. I guess we could check that. I'm assuming any Pandora pieces that I find that are Disney branded are going to be one of the better resells. And we don't have any reaction from those stones, so definitely not diamond, certainly not moissanite. And then, oh, I've seen this one before. It's actually a two-part. Uh, it's got this sort of pebbled-looking heart, ALE 925, but it's two separate charms. Sorry, I'm trying to show it here. And it says daughter and mother. I have found that one before too. Okay, that's it for the charms, but there is this bracelet in there. It's got a toggle and it's got this blue, it looks like blue topaz heart. Some really pretty open work on the back. Let's see, does the toggle say anything? No, it says nothing. It's not magnetic darn oh oh here we go china 925 and then it's like a dl yeah okay well sterling silver anyway and then there was also in this box this little pair of earrings the bright blue faceted stone oops and they look like this those are pretty cool and they are also Pandora 925 ALE. Okay, cool. A pair of Pandora earrings and a bunch of Pandora charms. And hopefully we found out some good info about the value on those. All right, let's get into the bag here. I've got a couple pairs of earrings to the side as well. One of them is this. Faux Pearl and CZ. No marks. But those are simple and pretty. And then I have another pearl stud. They are also faux, but just a simple plain pearl stud. Don't see any marks on the back or, or anything there, but not bad. All right, got some bagception going on here. Bag within a bag. Okay, here we go. This is now number three, four, and five that I have found of this particular ring. It's the illusion setting. And as far as I know, that is not the first one. I tested the first one. Like you'd think if they're going to go so far as to make this crazy illusion setting that this. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Like, I bet you these were free on a cruise or something. Real diamond. Well, how did I get it to test once? Oh, it's so petite and little. No. 
I am going to say no on that one. But there's three more, and I think I've already found two. So, I don't know. I don't know. But here's another ring. Missing a stone. It's empty, and it's wearing. So that's a craft lot. You don't get the podium. Get back there. Here is... Aww, a little kitty ring. It's adjustable. The tiny little blue stone in it. No marks or anything, so that's just a little kid costume piece. Now, here's a seriously big stone in this ring. I need three fingers to cover it up. That's how big it is. So let's do an intuition test. What color do you think the stone is under my fingers? Leave your answer in the comments to gain points that are very, very valuable. These points, I tell you. <laughs> All right, you ready? Green. Very, very green. Oh my gosh. Ugh. This thing is huge. Look at that on the tip of my finger. It's got some CZ. It's it's plastic, guys. It's not even glass. Adjustable. Just for fun. It's for fun. Let's put it up here. Big old pop of color. Now, here's another ring with jade this time. Jadeite. This one's jadeite. And beautiful filigree all around it. Probably Chinese export. Um, cause I've seen a lot of bracelets that are very similarly made and that's what they are. And there's the inside. That's really pretty. What size? What finger? There we go. Let's see. Oh yeah. That's fun. Boho to the max. Cleo. All right. Let's see what else we have. We got to grab another bag out of the bag. Oh, wait a minute. A belt? Oh my gosh, another belt. I think this came up from the... Well, no, not from the same as that Brutalist stuff we got a while back, but... Holy moly, how am I going to show you this? Well, let's start by putting it in front of the camera, hey? So it's like swaggy. It swags across. The main part of the belt is this link here and then there's uh these loops that have like a graduated swag thing happening and it's long it's a belt and it's a bit tangly we're gonna just move on from the belt but that's fun that's fun stuff i like the idea of that maybe more so than than i actually like it Okay, here is another learning tool that we have here. It's another Rolex watch, right? Last time we could see glue under the Rolex symbol there. I kind of see it again. Um, everything else looks okay. I mean, the, the, the lettering is all straight. And um, so other than the fact that it weighs nothing... The a big sign of it being a fake, what's it say back here? So I think besides that these look poopy, look at the back of the, the strap on here. It's completely worn away. The gold plating or whatever has completely worn away and you can see the copper in the links. It feels even along the outside of the strap. So so what? Would you think maybe that the face was real Rolex and the body or the strap has just been added? I don't know. I would not think that, but who knows? Not me. <laughs> okay, here's a bracelet. A nice big glass bead bracelet. There's a yin-yang over here and many different different uh, beads and it's got this little heart dangle 
and the clasp looks like this. I don't know anything about where that might have come from or uh, if it's even silver or not, honestly. Okay, here is a double strand of pearls. I just had someone in today looking for, these are faux pearl, but looking for a multi-strand real pearl necklace, and I just didn't have one for her, unfortunately. It's graduated. Look at how tiny they are up at the top, all the way down to these larger ones. Two strands. Here's the clasp. It's missing one of its rhinestones. Yeah. Okay. That's nice, though. I like... I've got nothing against faux pearls. I, I like just that having a touch of pearl in general is really nice. And next up we have, oh, I better dump it out here. Okay, we have a grouse foot pin, but it's not an actual grouse foot. I've found a few now that are actual feet, and this one is just a... Uh, modeled that way this looks like if it is amethyst it's a light rose de france and uh here's the back of it hmm all right here is a cameo well you're interesting look at that a black cameo with uh i don't know she's got a lot of adornment many details there there's this teeny tiny seed pearl all around the outside gold tone but looking at the back of it like i really don't see quality there like it's it looks cheap to me i don't know i don't think it's anything i think it's glass or plastic even yeah it's kind of heavy so i think it's glass but i don't know hopefully we can find something out about her would you call that a morning cameo then? Is it morning jewelry just because it's black? Here's a scarf clip. With a flower. On, well, plastic. I thought it was porcelain, but it's in nice shape still. And then here's another brooch. It looks like some jade pieces in the center. Sort of a sunflower design or daisy. And here's the back. It's pretty. I find, I find quite a few things with these glued down chips like that. Oh, here's another cameo. This is also quite different. It's very white. Except for some pieces where the pink still was. Very translucent and very white. It's got the uh, tube hinge, but over here it's a rollover clasp. Oh, he cut me on the way, I think. Yeah, anyway, she's quite nice. I suppose. I don't see a mark for the metal at all. Hmm. Well, let's put you two ladies together over here. Nice. This is... Uh, sweater clip oh yeah totally I see the broken piece okay sorry that's why I was thrown off because she's broken so it's a sweater clip and it's like this on one side and it has it has one for the other side too but it's come off now but it's got a good strong clip here and it's connected with a gold tone chain and then yes in the bag I've got this piece and I even have this piece um, it feels really lightweight. I don't imagine that it's going to be something that I should spend my time fixing. All right, here's another brooch. This is a wee spoon with like a leaf kind of thing happening there. What does this say? 925 and a signature. Oh, what does that say? I don't know. Darn, I want to know. 
Hmm. I mean, it's interesting. It's different. I've not seen one like that. Hopefully we can... Let's show it again, just in case. Maybe I'll look at it in the loop, too, because that helps me sometimes, especially later when I'm editing. J-man? J-man? <laughs> I have no idea. We'll see. We'll see what we can see. Here is another carved pendant, but it's a flower this time with a little pearl on it. It's a pendant or a brooch. And yeah, I think that's carved out of shell again or something. Interesting. I haven't seen one like that either. Oh, we lost our camera. Here's another scarf clip in a seashell design looking like this and another scarf clip looking like this with a big faux pearl in the middle and there's the back okay what's up here next a pendant gold tone and amethyst it's a interesting color on that stone in the middle And we have a mark, a heart, and LB. Ooh, hopefully I can figure something out about that. When I can actually make out the letters, it's disappointing when I don't find information. Obviously. Okay, here's another brooch. And this one is for the curlers. It's got a curling rock and two brooms and it's got AB rhinestones all around the outside. No mark or anything, but if you're into curling, I got to try it once in school, but uh, just that once. Here is a flamingo. Now it's a flamingo because like of how it's standing, but there's no pink going on. Like it's not all pink but look at how cool the tail feathers are these square cut and I don't see anything missing and I don't see a name oh well that's pretty cute pretty cute you can lean right there maybe yeah that'll work here's a pair of cufflinks and this time it's not for curling it's for a different sport. Intuition test. What sport are these cufflinks representing? Golf. <laughs> There's two uh, drivers and two balls there. Gold tone cufflink. Let's see if we have any names here. Oh, yep. Crements or is it Crements or Crements? I'm not sure. And the backs of them look like this. Oh, look at that. They've even got like these little amber toned pieces on the sides. Okay. Well, maybe they're worth something, hey? I mean, golf is still a thing. <laughs> Sorry, Dad. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Another brooch. Just a very simple swoop de doop and no mark no mark okay oh another cameo this is another brooch and pendant and look how nice this one is wow that frame around it the bezel around the frame around the bezel is super ornate there's openness to it but more importantly look at the detail on her like the individual ringlets and wow, that's a lot of, that's a lot of detail in the hair. Like that's crazy. Nice translucency there as well. And here's the back. So we've got this piece here to swing up. It's a roll over clasp. So we're not talking too, too old here. And it looks like the setting may be brass. I don't see a mark for the metal anywhere. But that's really pretty. Wow. 
incredible detail. Oh my god. Get up there, girl. That'll do. Okay. Beside me I have a shoe clip or a dress clip. And I only have one. And then what is that? A bell with LB again. Huh. Well, let's see what we can see. Interesting. Yeah, no, I just have the one. So I'm not sure. Maybe we'll come across the other one at some point here. I'll put you up over here. All right. Whew. What's next? I'm guessing this is also a scarf clip. It's got this rose and it's got these pieces here. So you'd run the scarf through here and out the two sides there. And it would make it almost like a bolo, you know, you know, no. <laughs> oh, God. And here is a pin with an animal. Intuition test. What animal is it? It's an eagle. If you answered eagle, you get 9,000 points. Good job. Um, okay, here is a pin with no back of any kind. It's a kangaroo. It's just got like the stick. It's a stick pin situation. I guess that way we can make it look like he's hopping. Hey, I'll stab it in here. Oh, can you even see it? Yeah, he's there. And another brooch, just a plain circle. We're missing a stone right off the hop here, but look at that's an old clasp. This is an oldie. The pin goes quite long and it's a thin C clasp. So that's probably Victorian. If I if you if I don't know any better. It's one of the little square blues that's missing there. But that's pretty. Quite pretty. Okay. And here's a little angel. Little guardian angel with peridot. Come across quite a few of those. And another pin with a Canadian goose. Gold and then white enamel as well. It says juniper. And it's got a little loop on here. So I think this was a tie tack at some point in its life. little goosey. And what the heck is this? Look, just a stone in a, in a package. It's sealed. Oh no. Are we diamond testing this thing? I guess, I guess we will. In the meantime, while that's booting up, here's another kangaroo on a different kind of pin this time. All right. What else are we going to be able to pull out of this bag okay here we go let's test this diamond this gigantic diamond Ooh, it smells like a diamond <laughs> i don't know what that means and it is certainly not i knew that but you just you gotta you gotta do it or else you'll think about it later and but it's a CZ for sure. This is big and heavy and chonky chonky. It's a big metal with some, looks like German on it. 1977. This is so heavy. That looks like um, someone in a vineyard. Grapes and he's got a basket of them on his back. Harvesting, no doubt. The back of it looks like this, very crude. And here, um, yeah, I don't know. I guess I'll just have to try translating it. I, don't, I wonder if somebody won a wine making award or something in 1977. Okay. Here is a gold tone rope chain. Really nice color on it. And here's the clasp. Actually, you know what? I think we had the bracelet to go with it in a previous episode. 
but it's in really nice shape. Certainly, certainly a very wearable piece. Okay, next up. Huh. Okay, here's a chain that is confusing me. It's gold tone. And it has uh, two pieces that hang from these little barrels here. But there's no clasp or anything. I, I don't know. I don't think I could get that over my head. So, therefore, you confuse me, Goldie. Where's my magnet? Let's, let's check it out. Yeah, magnetic, anyway. Here is what appears to be for a pocket watch. But look at the chain. That's interesting. Huh. It's like gold, silver, gold, silver. Intentionally. It's not that it's worn worn out that way. It's got a pocket watch kind of vibe here for sure. And I don't see any marks. That's a weird one. I've not seen one like that. And another chain here. Looking like this. It's heavy and it hangs well, but the color looks weird. It's light and and gold. It's definitely seen better days all right got some stones here that are in a little baggie so we'll take a look at those and that'll be it for this episode let's see oh gosh there's a bunch of little ones too oh no okay here they are so we've got a few pieces of jade 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 this is malachite like it could be malachite um that's malachite jade 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 this looks like it wants to be peridot but uh perhaps it's just glass i guess Oopies. and this looks like i thought it was lapis for a second but it's blue and black i think it's dyed something or other yeah and then a couple of Sorry, broken chunks. I'm, I'm not going to mess with that. All right. Whew. That's everything for this episode. Pretty good. Pretty sparkly and colorful. I like to see that. Thank you so much for joining me. If you haven't already, click subscribe. That way we can hang out again. I'm uploading a video every Sunday. And I'd love to hear from you in the description box below. There's my email. Send me a message. I'd love to hear from you. And, um, yeah, that's it. I'll talk to you guys next time.